Hi everyone! So today's look is inspired by a Filipina actress named Marion Rivera. Her wedding was very ostentatious, but her wedding look was so simple and elegant, which is perfect for her. Besides, less is more, right? So let's begin! I'm priming my face with Benefit's The Pore Professional Primer. Putting it on my forehead, my nose, my cheeks, and I'm just gonna spread this all over using my fingers. This primer helps my makeup stay on longer, which is perfect for bridal. Next, I'm going to prime my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot with the use of my Real Techniques Crease Brush. Priming your eyes is a must to ensure your shadow won't crease all day and it also helps the shadow look truer to its actual color. I'm also priming my lower lash line as I'm going to put color on that area as well. Next, I am going to use MAC's Always Sunny Eyeshadow with my Sigma E40 and I am going to apply it on my crease and slightly above my crease. Notice that I'm concentrating on the outer corner of my eye so that it will give an illusion of a more prominent crease. And remember, blend, blend, blend. Next, using my Lorac Pro eyeshadow palette and the color taupe, I am going to apply this with my MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to apply it on my actual crease concentrating again on the outer corner of my eyes. This shadow will create more depth to our eyes. Next, I'm going to use NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk with my Sigma F75 Concealer Brush and I'm just gonna put it on my lid. Now using an eyeshadow from Urban Decay called Foxy, I'm gonna use my 213 Flat Shadow Brush from MAC and apply it on my lid. Then with my Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm just going to blend the outer edge. And then going back to my MAC 217, I am going to grab the gold eyeshadow from my Lorac Pro palette. Notice that I'm tapping this in the middle of the white and taupe color, not blending, tapping. Next, grabbing a clean Sigma E40 brush, I'm just going to blend all the colors together at the outer edge. And using the color Sable and my MAC 217 brush, I'm just going to apply this on the outer V of my eyes using a small circular motion. And then going back with the Real Techniques crease brush with nothing on it, I'm just going to swipe this on the outer edge. This is blending brush on steroids, so a few swipes will be good or else it'll erase your eyeshadow. And speaking of erasing, I'm using my Q-tip and with a makeup remover to remove any fallouts on my lower lash line. And then using nude eyeshadow and white eyeshadow, I'm just gonna put this on my brow bone and I'm just using a large shadow brush. This will be my highlight. Then I am going to use MAC 208 brush and Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in black. And I'm just gonna line my lash line so that it will look more fuller. I am using short strokes to avoid any eyelining mistakes.
And don't worry if your eyeliner isn't perfect because we're just gonna use an eye pencil brush with a little black eyeshadow and we're just gonna blend it away. And using a flat concealer brush with the Maybelline gel liner, I'm just going to tight line, meaning I'm just going to line the spaces in between my lashes. Then I'm spraying my small smudger brush with the MAC Fix Plus and I am applying gold eyeshadow on my lower lash line and then the outer third I am going to use espresso eyeshadow then I blend the two colors together with a Sigma E30 pencil brush the reason why I applied the dark eyeshadow only on the outer third of my lash line is to create an almond shaped eye now time to curl your lashes. I'm using my favorite Shu Imura eyelash curler. To hide the lash band, I'm just going to apply a black gel liner on top of it. Always wait for the eyelash glue to be tacky and then pinch the end of the eyelashes with your fingers and with a tweezer and put on your lashes. Then I'm just pinching my real lashes with my false lashes together so it looks more natural. Then using MAC Zoom Water Fast Mascara, I'm just going to put it on to bind my real and fake lashes together. Next, I am going to use Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. This foundation is water resistant, so get emotional. You're the bride after all. Next, I'm using Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer in number 7, and I'm just dragging this downwards and sideways so that it acts as a highlighter as well. And this is also waterproof. So I got you covered, you tears of joy. <laughs> then I will immediately set my concealer with Ben Nye Cameo Powder. Ooh, I really love this powder. I'm also putting this powder on my chin, on top of my jawline, and on top of my nose and a little on my forehead so that it would serve as a highlight. And after marinating the cameo powder for a bit on your face, just grab a dense fluffy brush and just blend the powder. Next, I'm using MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder and I'm just gonna set my face with this using the same fluffy brush. Marion had a really really pretty pink blush on her wedding so I picked Mary Kay's Citrus Bloom. So just smile and then put the blush on the apples of your cheeks and blending outwards. The brush that I'm using here is a white kabuki brush. And for the lips, I picked Makeup Forever number no. 15 Aqua Rouge. This color is really, really feminine and it's perfect for bridal. Marion didn't have a lot of contouring going on, but this face needs it. So I'm just gonna use MAC Sculpt Powder with my Sigma F25 and I'm just going to put it on my cheeks, my jawline. It's not gonna be a drastic, drastic contouring. It's just going to put a little warmth onto my skin and a little shading because I really need it. And a little on my forehead. Now, the other reason why I chose this lipstick is because look, it's kiss proof. There's no transfer. So it's perfect to kiss your groom and not worry about any transfer. After it's completely dry, I put on a little lip gloss. My Marion Rivera inspired look is now complete. Thank you so, so much for watching. Lipstick. Lipstick.